my name's uh, Chris Davis and I'm a space scientist. I run a project to look at the sun using uh, some spacecraft known as Stereo and I investigate the Earth's atmosphere and how it responds to that. Uh, best things are being the first person ever to see some of some of these exciting things that are happening. Uh, it's just amazing part of science when you you investigate something and it's the first time anyone's seen it. When you can sit and be smug about it for a couple of minutes until you realise you don't quite understand it yourself. Uh, the worst part, I think, is the paperwork, um, and that's that's the that's the hard graft of writing down what it is that you've explained in a completely unambiguous way. That's, that's quite hard. The work I'm doing is important because uh, I'm looking to see how the, the sun can affect the Earth's environment and we're becoming more and more vulnerable to changes on the sun uh, with spacecraft and big power grids. All these things are vulnerable to, to these uh, solar explosion. Oh, my favourite scientist would be Richard Feynman. He, he, uh, he had a, a healthy lack of respect for authority. As far as people that have, have set me on my road to where I am, I mean, people like Carl Sagan, obviously the TV um, uh, presenter of the 70s. Um, he's more than that, of course. He's an astrobiologist, but that's how I knew him. Um, but yeah, Richard Feynman somehow is always there as, a, as an inspirational choice, I think. Science is about finding stuff out, so if you enjoy finding stuff out, then I think you're cut out to be a scientist. Um, what type of science you end up doing, I guess, dictates what uh, qualifications you have to go for. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit of training required so that you can uh, test your uh, theories about the, the, the universe or whatever it is you're studying. So um, maths, unfortunately, is quite important if you want to do biology, physics, chemistry. Um, it's, a, it's an unfortunate reality, so study maths. <laughs>